Yeah, oh, this one's for me. Go yeah, ahead, open it. it. Yep. Whew. Pressure's on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I know I'm gonna love it. Oh, this is so cute. Thanks, Emma. Oh, there's another engraving on the back. Oh. Congratulations, Melanie and da Darren. Oh my gosh, I, I'm so sorry. I must have got confused from last time. Yeah, you know, it's okay. Let's do a toast. Back to Melanie me. and Robert. May you have a life of love, laughter, and happily ever after. Mmm. Thanks, Woo! Mom. Cheers to Cheers. that. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yes. Yay! <laughs> mm. Okay, ladies, mm -hmm. now. To the games. Oh, so maybe we're to we're the games. Yes. Let's do it. Spin that wheel. Let's go. Yes. Oh, okay, mommy. Yes. Oh, what's it gonna yes. be? Oh, 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 we have oh. a wedding tip. I'm sure mom will have fun with this one. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Come on, Miss B. Tell us your secrets. Okay, I have a few. Um, let's think. Well, as you know, Gord and I are celebrating our 30-year anniversary. Woo! Yeah! So I'm just saying, I, I do have a tip or two. Melanie, sweetheart, don't overthink things like we women do. Sometimes you just have to go for it. Take the plunge, head first. Feet first, I don't care, just do it! Woo! Not very subtle, is she? Is he blame her? Hey, you got this. Three times a charm, right? Right, let's just hope we get his name ring when he's at the altar. You can totally get that engraving burned out. Okay. Whose turn? Uh, is it? Okay, it is. Yeah. Yeah. me? In that wheel, baby! Yeah. Okay, let's right. go fast! Woo! 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 Oh, what's it gonna be? <laughs> I love him. I love him not. Your sister will be out in a minute. <sighs> then we're ready to go. Mom. Gorgeous. How did you know you truly love Dad? I mean that I want to spend the rest of my life with this person kind of love. By marrying him. Trust me, they grow on you. So you grew to love Dad? Yes. Yes, of course. Love grows and blossoms. Like, like these flowers in your bouquet. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, my hair would not stay put. Okay, let's go. We gotta go. Doing it. <laughs> <laughs> the charm. Hey, Dad. I'm mom. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thanks. You got this, Rue? Yeah.
know, I was thinking maybe we should expand our business into products, you know, like offering homemade granola bars after our yoga classes or like fresh smoothies or maybe even a delivery service for healthy meals, you know? I personally, I love these fruit bars. They're so filling and delicious. Mel, are you okay? I don't know, am I? I mean, all I do is mess everything up, so if that's considered okay, then I guess I am, but I'm starting to think that maybe I'm not. No. No. Please, no, 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 don't feel sorry for me. It's Rob who you should feel sorry for. He's a really, really great guy. It's just... What? I like him. I do. I like, I like him a lot. It's just... I don't love him. Not in that happily ever after way. <sighs> what is wrong with me? I've broken off three engagements. Oh, it's better than three divorces. Sorry. How is he? Well, after you left, he got all red in the face like he just bench pressed 300 pounds. Oh, this is all my fault. I should have never said yes in the first place. Although he did ask me to marry him in front of a packed spin class, and he, he wouldn't stop spinning until I said yes. So I don't know, he could have had a heart attack had I said no. So it was better to break his heart? You're right, I'm awful. That's not what I'm saying. No, you know what? I'm, I'm done with it all. I am done with hurting anyone. I'm done with dating, engaging, almost marrying. I'm, I'm done. Obviously, Rob, Justin, Darren, they all just weren't the one. <sighs> The one. Have you ever met the one? No. I'm done. Yeah, that's it! Yeah! Oh, come on, man! That ball had no speed. Uh, hey, up, David. See you note, thank you. Uh, where are you going? Uh, I promised you need to help her with some wallpaper. <laughs> Would you say? He said you're whipped. Well, it doesn't surprise me. You gotta put down the married dues to make yourself feel better. <laughs> okay, first of all, technically you're not married. You're separated, and yet you're still doing Janine spinning. <laughs> so, I would just feel better for you if you kept playing. Is this funny to you? It's kind of funny. Fine, I'll play one more game. Right. But that's not what I was talking about. Okay, what were you talking about? Well, it's obvious you got a chip on your shoulder because you know you're never gonna get married. Uh, and that would be a bad thing because you don't get a warm body to lay next to every night, someone to have kids with? Yeah. Fred, your kids sleep with you and Susan every night. You are sleep deprived and going crazy. A That's wife true. is someone to grow old with, someone to witness the miracles of life with, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Vince, Thank you. there are three things in life that require a witness, crimes, accidents, and marriages. Need I say more? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hey, okay. pal, we married guys are actually living the dream. Yeah. The only thing your wives are dreaming about is you guys actually doing the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, if I want to marry, I can get married. Oh! Hey, Damon, I'm Damn. not denying you date a lot of women. You're just not a guy girls want to marry. You serious? Very. Janine feels the same way. Okay, well, Janine has never liked me. Fred, what about Susan? What'd she say about me? I don't know that you're fun. See? But she wouldn't set you up with any of her friends. Oh! oh. oh. See? Face it, Damon, you're the cool bachelor. Women can sense when a guy can't commit. Which is why you will never get a girl to say, I do. Oh, I could, if I wanted to. You wanna bet? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, you find a girl. Any girl. Get her to say yes to your proposal by the end of the month. I will give you the Juicy Cola account. All the perks, all the parties. If you lose, you get brand buddies. Juicy's my account. And I'm the boss. What do you say, Damon? No, no, it's crazy. You know, you've already lost one bet tonight, although I've never seen you walk away from one. Come on, man, the end of the month, that's 30 days away. What, you can't make it happen? I mean, that's what we're talking about here. Right, guys? Yeah, but Juicy's my account. Come on, buddy. Do it. One month. If 
Fine. It's a bet. Let's bowl. Let's do this. Hey, Rob. Hey. Do you need help? No, no, I'm good. What brings you here, Mel? Rob, I am so, so sorry. I should have talked to you when I was feeling unsure. It's just that I thought that maybe things would change, you know? Grow like a weed. I, um, I mean a flower. Because you are definitely not a weed. You're a, a big, strong flower. A rose with thorns. Duh, not hurtful thorns. Uh, mainly. Resilient? Like a perennial. Exactly, which is why I know that you're gonna be okay. You know what's great about perennials? They never give up. They keep pushing through every spring. And I'm not giving up either. Rob, I don't think it's gonna happen. You don't know that. I mean, you said so yourself. You're unsure. I was unsure, but now I'm pretty sure. Look, I know you have your fears, but just hang on to the ring. Just trust me. You'll figure out we're meant to be together. Okay. You want to change the way people think about dental work, and we want your brand to reflect that. So, when people see this sign, they don't cringe. They smile. I don't know how you made root canals cool, but you did. Heck, I want one. Well, I'm just glad I stayed awake. They gave me nothing. No feedback. That was a total snooze fest. <laughs> yes! Life is bolder with juicy soda, which is my account. We nailed it. Mm. So, Casanova, did you find a girl? Not yet. What about Fiona? Come on, man, I'm 10 years older than her last boyfriend. Maybe we'll get lucky tonight at the Jayoon Flunch. Oh, yes, a room full of granolas and juice heads. Should be lots to pick from. You kept the ring. I tried giving it back, but he was all like, I'm a perennial and I'm not giving up. I don't even want to try to understand what that means, but what I do know is you need to stop saying yes to these guys because you want to save yourself public embarrassment. Jules, you don't understand. When someone asks you to marry them, and you have all of these eyes on you, eyes that want you to say yes, because if you don't, then wow, that would be really uncomfortable. It's hard to say no. You need to be more assertive. Like when you're instructing boot camps, you never have trouble demanding 10 more reps. You need to see these propositions like a boot camp. You're right, I can be a sergeant. There you go, so you're gonna give him back the ring? Maybe next week. What? So, what's our strategy? I was thinking about what you were saying about tying in product with our workout and nutrition programs. Jules, that was a botched wedding rant. We need to do something bigger. The city is full of personal trainer and nutritionists. We need to find a way to set ourselves apart. And seeing as this is a launch party, they're obviously trying to find ways to get their brand out there. So, let's get familiar with the products and meet some people. Okay. May I try one of your green goddesses, please? Thank you. Great smoothies. Sorry, I'm Will Peters. I'm an advertiser. Melanie. Melanie, it's a pleasure to meet you, Melanie. So you're here with company peeps, or are you here alone? Actually, I came here with my sister. We are the company. Hey, sis. My bad, I got stuck over there. Don't worry, I was just keeping your sister company, actually. We were just getting acquainted. Oh, you don't understand. She's fragile right now, getting over a broken engagement. She is done. Dating, marriage, the whole thing. <laughs> Listen, it's, it's been a pleasure. You ladies, enjoy. 
You see what I did there? I just shut him down. Bam! Bam! Got it. Okay, good, because I've got some interest going. Oh, yeah? Not, not that kind of interest, some product placement. So if I leave you, you'll be good, right? I'll be so good. Scout's on. Maybe you should put that ring back on. Hey. Hey, can I just get a soda? Diet soda? No? Okay. I will just not drink this. <clears throat> I just found your future bride to be. Yeah? So why aren't you hitting on her? Fine, I struck out. <laughs> then I like her already. I think you'll like her a lot. One in the red. Oh, yeah, you're right. She's cute. So do we have a contender? Sure. Why not? She's the one. You know you're right. This stuff would work better as fertilizer. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> so if you're not a fan of all this good stuff, what's keeping you here? My sister. She thought maybe we could tie some product to our brand. Brand? Really? That's what I do. Branding, advertising. Wow. That's pretty popular tonight. So, uh... What do you and your sister do? We are personal trainers slash nutritionists. Really? Because I'm looking for a personal trainer. Really? You mean you don't have a gym where you work? You know, I'm not really a fan of going to the gym. I, I work out, I play basketball, but I'm just not into people watching me, you know? I'm sure a lot of your clients feel that. I guess. You know, I'd love to know more about what you do. The classes you offer, the whole nutrition thing. Maybe you could tell me about that over some real food? There's a great Italian place just down the street. No. No, you're gluten-free? We could go somewhere else. No, not gluten-free. Well, maybe I could just get your card or your number. We could help each other, you know, uh, you with getting me in shape, me with your branding. Sorry, no. Actually, yes. Oh, remember, no? Mel would be thrilled to give you a consultation. That's what we do, you know, uh, go over people's personal goals. That's great. How about uh, Saturday, 10 a.m.? Saturday it is. Here you go. Great. I will shoot you an email with my address, and I'll see you then. OK. Bye. Take a deep breath in, and release. Thank you for sharing your practice with us today. Namaste. Namaste. Great class, everyone. I'll see you next week. And remember, stay active. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So you've got to get cleaned up. You've got your 10 a.m. OK, you said shut it down. And there I was, shutting it down. And you just started it back up. He's in marketing, Mel. That's exactly what we need. Oh, come on, Jules. He's a salesman. It was probably like a line or something. Actually, he's legit. OK, well, then why don't you give him his consultation? And maybe the two of you can talk about all this stuff. I can't. I got to do some errands. So you better hurry. You don't want to be late. Fine. But I'm wearing the ring. <laughs> this is strictly business. Come in. like a rich man's bachelor pad in here. Wow. Uh, yeah, I guess it could use a little uh, redecorating. Woman's touch, maybe. Can I get you anything? Coffee? Danish? No, I'm good. Did you already eat? Yeah, sorry, I was starving. What did you have for breakfast? Uh, a macchiato from the coffee shop and some cereal. This cereal? It's a, a childhood habit. Is this what you eat every day for breakfast? No, not every day. OK, yes, every day, but sometimes I also get something at work. This will obviously have to change. So, do you ever have breakfast with Will Peters? Will? Yeah, he's my boss, but he's also a buddy. You know, we play poker. 
Shoot hoops. So what? Your buddy struck out and you figured you'd give it a good old college try? I'm sorry, I have no idea. You both hit on me at the party. Well, obviously. I mean, look at you. You're beautiful and, oh, married? Engaged. Right. What was that? Nothing. Sorry, I'm just surprised because you weren't wearing your ring the other night. It's a bit loose, so I, I get nervous wearing it out. So, what are your exercise and nutrition goals? Actually, I think I'm already pretty fit. Oh, Do you know what? Would you yeah. look at the time? I actually have a... Ah, uh, oh, uh, sorry, I do a lot of takeout here. I can here. see that. Thank you. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. What? Um, my ring just slipped off. It, this is, this is bad. This is really bad. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's probably just, uh, stuck in the pipe. Is it in there? You know what? You're gonna have to give me just one second. Please, I can't lose it. Yeah, I get that, but I'm sure worst case scenario, your fiance would understand. Uh, that's the thing. I'm, I'm not really engaged. I'm giving the ring back. What? Why is that? It, it didn't work out. So you just wear the ring to deter guys like me? Okay, well, I, I've been through a lot. And yeah, I do want to deter dating, marriage, all of that stuff. I'm done with it all. Oh! Are you okay? Yeah. <sighs> Oh Here. my gosh, thank you so much. All right. Well, uh, I guess the next steps are I will write you up a grocery list of healthy food staples and we'll arrange a physical assessment and take it from there. Sound good? Sure, whatever you think. Okay. Oh, no, no, it's okay. I'll just let myself out. And thank you again for the... <clears throat> Don't mention it. You should have seen the look on his face when I told him I was done with dating. It was like a balloon deflating. Well, did you at least talk to him about our branding? No, of course not. Well, I didn't want him thinking I wanted to spend more time with him. Besides, I'm pretty sure he's trying to get out of this whole training thing anyway. All right, here's the rest of the guest list, complete with addresses. You know, why don't you start handing some to me and I will sign. The sign what? The invitations to your wedding anniversary. Whoa, is that the guest list? Mm-hmm. Anna, I thought we agreed to keep it small. You only expect 60% of those you invite to actually show up. Well, if we're gonna have that many people over, it was a good thing Rob was just here cutting back the shrubs. He was? I asked him to do some landscaping out back. It's a garden party, right? He mentioned, um, you've kept the ring. I'm going to give the ring back. Oh, Mel, why? Rob's a great catch. He has his own landscaping company. Comes from a really nice family. In fact, I just saw his mother. Anna, I think Rue made her decision. Okay, fine. If neither of you girls are getting married, then I am. What? Huh? Your father and I have decided at our wedding anniversary party, we are going to renew our vows. Oh. <laughs> and we want the two of you to stand up for us. Mom, Dad, that's amazing. That's really beautiful. Yeah, I thought so. Then maybe you girls will see how special getting married can be. <sighs> hey, hey. I'm calling a do-over. Starting from scratch. No way. The girl has sworn off everything. For good. I mean, I should have known something was up the other night when she turned you down. But me? <gasps> oh! <laughs> nice. Wait a second, you hit on her first. Which means you knew. You knew she was damaged goods. It's not my fault you didn't ask. Nice, Will. Real nice. Oh. Look. Why don't you just admit defeat, okay? I'm sure you can find the hook and brand buddies. Be the brand buddy poster boy. Is that what this is about? Woo-hoo-hoo! Check these out. I just scored a pair of courtside seats from the Juicy Reps. Wait, and you got Little League. Wow. Some accounts have all the perks. Wonder how many perks brand buddies has. Fine. You know what? I'll make it happen. My man. Vince, you want to go to the game? Yeah. Yeah. I can get out a little league. 
take a deep breath, hands up. And swan down. Now I'm gonna go to a class right now. It's already started. Breath up. Open the chest. Can I squeeze in between you? And when you're ready, step back into plank pose and down into cobra. Open the chest. Downward facing dog. Take a few steps with your feet, stretch out the calves. Take a breath up, back down, and arms up. Prayer to the heart. Breathe into eagle pose. Wrap your foot around your left leg. Hands together, bend into it with your left under your right, settle in deep, breathe, breathe, feel your body, and when you're ready, uncross your arms and then your legs and take a mountain pose. And hands to heart, prayer pose. Thank you so much for coming today, namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Namaste. 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 Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, All everyone. Right. Have a great week, and we'll Bye. see you Namaste. soon. Namaste. Bye. Wow. This is a really great setup you guys have. You think? Actually, we're looking for uh, a bigger space. Really? I love this whole home vibe thing. I think it really works with your sister act. You think? Yeah, for sure. You know, if you were thinking of branding, that's the whole approach I would take. If you wanted, I could do up like a social media pitch, press kit. Uh, that's a great idea, right, Mel? Uh, did you get my grocery list? I did, there's just one problem. I get it, it's probably too complicated, what with your lifestyle. So uh, if you don't want to go through with this whole thing, I completely understand. No, that's not it, I just, I want to have the first clue where to find uh, chia seeds or broccolini. I don't even know what that looks like. Is that like a like a little mini broccoli? <laughs> it's actually a cross between asparagus and broccoli. See? No clue. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could go grocery shopping together. Together? Uh, no, no, we don't have to do that. I Actually, I can order the food and have it delivered right to you. Sure, but I probably should learn how to do it myself, right? I mean, the only aisle I'm familiar with is the freezer aisle. <laughs> well, he's got a point. Jules, why don't you go ahead and take Damon grocery shopping, seeing as how we've got this whole sister act thing going on. Hey, Mel. Rob, hi. What are you doing here? Thought I'd come by and see if you wanted to go for a jog. Remember our Sunday 10Ks? Uh, yeah, I, I, I do, but um, actually, I was just about to go take Damon, our new client, grocery shopping. Right? Uh, are you good to go? Yeah, sure. I can, uh, I'll shower later. Okay, great. Yeah, 10K. It's impressive. You want an energy bar for your run? Hi. This is broccolini. Oh. What do you do with it? You can steam it, saute it. Well, maybe you could show me some time. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get a step-by-step -step recipe. Are you sure? Because I'm really not a good cook. My, my mom, she never taught me. Not that she was much of a cook anyway. Actually, I usually ate alone. But me and the pizza guy, we got pretty chummy. Why were you alone so much? Uh, my mom, she worked a lot. My dad, he wasn't really around. Well, I love pizza. Really? Mm -hmm. Like whole wheat with soy cheese or something kind of thing? <laughs> no. Extra cheese, double the meat, mushrooms, and olives. I love olives on my pizza. It brings out the flavor in the salami or something. Exactly. So Rob, he's your... Ex-fiance. I guess you didn't get the memo. Which is odd, because I feel like leaving him at the altar was sending a pretty big message. Suppose he's not the one? Nope. Whatever that means. Are you telling me you don't believe in soulmates and all that? Why, do you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Have you ever met the one? Not yet, but 
Still looking? Off to the grain section. <clears throat> now, you're gonna wanna look for whole grains, not refined. Have you always been into all of this? Are you kidding me? I was the awkward, unhealthy kid. <laughs> I loved candy bars. Thank you. Great, let's uh, check out some fruit. Right, good stuff. Apples, yeah. Oh, oh sorry, oh. sorry. Uh, uh... <laughs> Mel? Justin, hi, how are you? Great. I was gonna call you about your running group. Kelly says we need to start doing something because you know what they say, the couple that runs together stays together. Is that what we should have done? I'm kidding. Right. So we'll just go online and sign up. Absolutely. I'll see you on the track. Hey, bud, there's some spilt juice by the smoothies. Who's that guy? Oh, that was Justin. My, uh, my first fiance. You were engaged before Rob? Twice, actually. Three times. You, you've been engaged three times? Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like we're done here, so I'm just gonna get going. Yes, do you want me to uh, drive you or? Oh, no, it's okay, I'll walk. I didn't go for that run, so. I will see you for your assessment. Yes. Okay. Three dudes have proposed to her and she said yes every time. Isn't that good? I mean, she said yes three times, so a fourth should be no big deal, right? No, it's not good because she didn't marry any of them, and I'm guessing that's why she's thrown in the towel. Sounds like you should start working on the Brand Buddies account. Three pulled pork tacos, please, extra hot sauce. Have you asked her why it didn't work out with the first three? Are you kidding? I mean, I could tell she was embarrassed, plus, what if it's her? You know, what if there's something wrong with her? She looks fine to me. You should dig a little deeper. I mean, women love it when you seem interested in them. Susan thinks I'm right into her Reiki when really I don't understand it at all. Who does? I don't know, she likes olives. Wow, good for you. You're really getting to know her, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Man. What a guy. Nice, keep breathing, legs up. Okay, toss you the ball, okay? All right. Catch. <laughs> nice, toss it back. Okay. Keep breathing, breathing. I'm hitting you weight now. Easy. Oh, nice. Okay, that. you've obviously got a strong core, That's but right. let's go down to the ground and do the pigeon. Okay, okay. follow me. Right leg forward, left leg back. Yeah. Go down onto your elbows. Breathe. You'll feel that stretch. Oh, I feel that. All right, Bendy. Can you do this? Oh, impressive pot shot. But my dad can do that. Yeah? Can your dad do this? Uh -huh. Nope, but my scouts can. Oh. All right, can you do this? Right leg forward, left leg back. Okay. Knee uh, an inch above the ground, right there. Yep, we're gonna test your stability. I'm gonna push you, okay? Sure. Ready? Yeah, how's yeah. that for stable? Okay. Don't hurt your fingers. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Mm hmm. That's chocolate puff power. Yeah. Yeah. How's this for vegetable power? Yeah. Well, let's check your stability, vegetable power. Oh! Ah! Ah! Mm. Uh, oh! Your knee? Yeah. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm fine. You sure? Mm. It's okay. It should be fine now. Uh, I don't know about that. You really should rest it for a few hours. <laughs> I think I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. You're staying. Just at least till the swelling goes down. <sighs> fine. Pizza's not usually on the health menu. Well, it is tonight. Doesn't hurt to cheat every now and then. This is so good. What, do I have something in my face? No, that's just me. I, uh, I just like when people surprise me. So tell me something about yourself. Is it just you and your sister, or you have family here? My parents are here. They're actually celebrating their 30-year wedding anniversary in a month. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. What about your parents? Mm, they're celebrating 20 years of being divorced. Is that why your dad wasn't around? Yeah, that would be why. But my mom did the best she could. You know, she worked a lot of night shifts, but she always made a point to have breakfast with me. Bowl of Choco Pops every morning. <laughs> you mentioned scouts earlier. Are you a leader or just a really tall scout? I volunteer at the community center on Tuesdays. Were you a scout? Straight through to Explorer.
This was right after I got my survival badge. Oh, that's a tough one to get. Yeah. These guys were like the brothers I never had. I promise to always do my best. To keep myself strong in mind and body. To always help those in need and to help myself through positivity and good values. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. I know it wasn't on the grocery list, but I happen to have some ice cream in the freezer. Now, I know you said to get rid of all that stuff, but come on, it's ice cream. Well, it does have calcium, especially if you put whipped cream on top. Oh, I have got whipped cream. <laughs> I'll make us a couple sundaes? I love it. Good. You know, you are turning out to be the best personal trainer slash nutritionist ever. <laughs> so you hurt your knee and then you stayed over and had dinner together with Damon? No. I mean, yeah, but it wasn't like that. Y you know, the first few hours after an injury are crucial, so I was doing the right thing. Uh-huh. Don't uh-huh me, Jules. He's a client, one that you insisted we take on. Besides, even if I was interested, which I am not, I doubt it will go anywhere because his parents divorced when he was younger, and I can tell by the way he talks about it, he saw some serious issues from it. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if he was scared of marriage. Well, then uh, you don't have anything to worry about, you know, with you two hanging out and eating pizza. Exactly. Actually, I kind of just feel bad for him. I mean, it'd be sad if he was putting off getting married. Who's putting off getting married? Me. Damon. Sweetheart, don't say that. I mean, wait, look what I had fixed. This can be fixed, so can your relationship. Mom, why did you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't bug Mom because she changed your ex's name on the yeah. cheese board. Speaking yes. of cheese board, let's uh, put some cheese on there, huh? <laughs> Who's this Damon your sister mentioned? Hmm? Oh, he's uh, just a client. Single client? I don't know, is he? I don't know. You know what? Let's go help Jules with that cheese because I am suddenly so hungry. She is in unreal shape. It's insane. She was doing these ab things like they're nothing. I want to be hurting for a week. So she's doing all these moves, right? Trying to impress me, these exercise moves, and she like blows out her knee. So. We just end up eating pizza uh, with olives, obviously, and they were black, not green. You should have seen her. It was awesome. She had like five slices. Oh, and then I find out that she used to be a scout, like me, only she still does it like uh, a volunteer, you know? How nice is that? Are you gonna bowl or what? Right. Well, I'm glad you took my advice to heart. I mean, when you start falling for someone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, no one is falling for anybody, all right? It's like you said, I don't even know what she's into. You know, if we're gonna have anything in common, it's just hit or miss. Just sometimes, I hit it, like this. Oh, oh yes! I, I am on a winning streak! Unbelievable. Okay, we are going to start working on our friendship badges. No better way to do that than to start with working and making friendship bracelets. This is everything you're going to need. This is for your table, you can take that back. All right, have fun. Avery. Why not join the other girls and make a friendship bracelet too? Uh, no thanks. I'd rather not. Besides, I wouldn't have a friend to give it to anyway. Avery, just try. Please make a bracelet. You will earn a nifty badge, and it will come in handy one day. And I promise, you will have a friend to give it to. Okay. What do you think? Blue? Oh, it's so pretty. 
Okay, today we're going to be good Samaritans, as we should be every day. And we are going to now work on our environment badges by going outside and cleaning up the park next to our community center. So everybody grab a pair of gloves. Okay, does everyone have a pair of gloves? You know, actually, I don't. Could I uh, borrow a pair? Oh, thank you. Just a second, girls. What are you doing here? I'm volunteering. Or, well, technically, I'm training to become a volunteer. Right now, I'm on probation, but I'm sure with you as my coach, I'll pass. Right? Is this something new, or...? You inspired me. So here I am. All right. But don't think I'll go easy on you. Hey, you've already put me through the gears as my trainer, so... I wouldn't expect anything less. Good. Okay, girls, this is your new scout leader in training, Mr. Damon. Hi, Mr. Mr. Damon. Pleasure to meet you. May I say you all look very smashing in your uniforms? Okay. Everyone find a partner, pair up, and let's go. Okay, Ava, you want to be my partner? Sure. That's Avery. She always has such a hard time. Give me a minute. Yeah. Avery. Please join the other girls in line. They don't like me. It's okay, I'll be right there with you. Avery, uh, uh. hey, did you give me tiny gloves on purpose? Hey, listen, it's my first day and I'm a little nervous. Would you mind showing me the robes? Okay. Okay. Avery, you can walk with me and help me keep an eye on Mr. Dean. Okay. <laughs> okay, girls. Uh, Maya, Lisa, lead the way out. Let's go, let's go. Avery, maybe outside you can join Maya and Lisa and be a trio. Hey, but what did you get? So what's the story there? Avery? Oh, she's just really shy. She gets bullied at school, that kind of thing. Her parents figured this would be a positive environment for her. Well, it worked for me. So how many badges did you end up collecting? 21. Impressive. Mm-hmm. What about you? Just shy of 18. Oh, not bad, not bad. I wanted to get more, especially the leadership badge. I was working towards that one when my parents split, so I had to give it up. You know, no one to take me. I figured my mom could use the help around the house. Put the scout training to work, you know? Help with the garbage, the lawn. Well, I'm sure your mom appreciated all that you did. Maybe we can start working on your culinary batch. You did get my recipes, right? Yes, I did. Gonna try out the first one tonight. Okay, how about we play a game of it tag? And guess who's it? I am! Ah! Oh, no! oh, I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Go, go! Boom! Hey, look out, look out! Go, 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 go! You're in! She's in! I just landed the community center landscaping project. It's big. They're landscaping their entire property. Oh, that's great. What's your client doing here? Damon? Oh, he's training to become a scout leader. For girls? Men can be scout leaders too. In fact, Chloe's dad volunteered all last year. Oh, Damon has a kid? No, no he's not even married. Oh, really? Time out, time out. Well, look, I want to talk to you about setting another date. Date? Nothing too soon from now or anything. Rob, I... <laughs> I don't know, we've talked about this. Girls, I've got an idea. 
as to who might really like to be it, but you're gonna have to help me convince her, okay? I know, and I told you, I'm not giving up on us. Just think how happy it'll make your mother. Plus, you make a really good team. Rob, I don't want to just make a good team. I want... What? Hey, what are you doing? You're it. Oh, I am, am I? <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Rob. It's their time, but we'll chat later, okay? All right, all right, who is it? She's it, she's it! Girls, your moms yeah. are here, so make sure you have everything. Great job today. Bye! Bye, bye girls, bye! You did all right today. Well, thank you. And, hey, I'm sorry about earlier, but it kind of looked like you needed an out. Right. So, uh, when did you realize that Rob and the other... Is it two? Yes, there are just three, thankfully. Right. When did you realize you should have said no? In fact, I'm pretty sure I knew even before they proposed. It was just so overwhelming when they did. I mean, Justin, he did it over the loudspeaker of the store that he managed. Darren did it while reporting on the weather, and Rob was in front of a packed spin class. Ouch. I know, right? And then my mom, she tried to convince me that I would grow to love them in that way, but I didn't. And what way is that? You know, the way you should feel when they propose. But giddy feeling, knowing you'll get to spend the rest of your life with this person that makes you believe in happily ever after. That way. Wow, you look all fancy for taco night. Actually, I am not going to mom and dad's tonight. I have a date. Really? Is it someone I know? Ian from Running Group. Oh, Jules, that's so great. He seems like such a sweet guy. Yeah. It's been such a long time. I hope I remember how it's done. Mm, just be yourself, and it will be amazing. Thanks. Hey, uh, keep your phone on you in case I need to uh, send you a help me text. I got you. Have fun. OK, seasoned lean chicken breast. And then pop in the oven for 10 minutes. Mm. Oh, now, you oil pan. And trim ends of the broccolini. OK. Hashtag Master Chef. Yes! Yes, yes! I just set my kitchen on fire. Oh no. Yeah, I was trying one of the recipes you gave me and uh, then there was smoke and fire and my alarm going off. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe you were right and I should have just helped you out the first time. No, it's not you. It's uh, just now I'm forced to order takeout again. So I was wondering if you, if you wanted to join me. Uh, actually, I can't. It's taco night at my parents' house. Tacos, huh? Oh, I love tacos. Me and my buddies, we hit the truck at least twice a week. Well, would you maybe want to join us? I mean, um, what kind of nutritionist would I be anyway if I sent you off to some greasy takeout joint? Well, you have a point. Great. I will come by and pick you up. OK, see you soon. Bye. Hey, who 
it's Hoops. Oh, uh, that's me and my dad. After dinner, we usually come outside and play a little one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, any good? Well, let's just say my dad calls me rude because I got bounced. Really? Because I play with some buddies and I'm a bit of a ringer myself. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, let's see about that. Oh, Val. Honey, hi, sweetie. Oh, and... Hi, Damon Hadley. Hi, Damon. Nice to meet you. Anna, Mel didn't tell me she was bringing a date. Oh, Damon's not my date. He's a client. Oh. I uh, almost burnt down my kitchen trying one of your daughter's recipes, so... Gord, this is Damon, Mel's... Client, Dad. I figured the least I could do was invite him over to dinner after one of my recipes failed. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. Oh, pleasure to meet you, sir. And your daughter's recipes, they're great. I'm the problem. I never really learned how to cook. You know what, I usually help my mom make the tacos, but if you wanted to... I wouldn't want to impose. No, no, not at all. Come on in. We'll get you set up. Right now, a pinch of cumin. Oh, okay. Taste it. Always taste. What do you think? Oh, I always like a lot of spice. Perfect. Me too. Here. Oh, all right. Okay, and the key is to julienne the carrots like this. You mm -hmm. throw those in with the cabbage, mm -hmm. toss it, and then you make your taco mm -hmm. like that. Perfect. All right. There we go. Yes. Okay, if you can grab the tacos. Yes. I will get the hot sauce. Dinner is served. <laughs> Damon, these are so delicious. Thank you. And he's a quick learner, too, which is good. Who doesn't love a man who knows his way around the kitchen? Or a gal who knows her way around the basketball court. Yeah. Isn't that right, Rue? Oh, yeah, Rue. Mel told me about that. She got that from her mad skills on the court. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to clear away some of the dishes. Oh, actually, she got it from her bounce at the altar. I mean, just like a kangaroo, this one would bounce out of there before anyone had a chance to say, I do. <laughs> Gordon. Ah, uh, well... I'm sure once Mel meets the right person, she won't bounce anymore. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Damon. What about you? Anyone special in your life? No, I'm still, still searching. Really? Uh, hey, Mom, what's all this stuff? Oh, I'm putting together a video collage for our anniversary party. 30 years. I heard. That's incredible. I'm a lucky man. Why are you putting these in there? To show our joy over the last 30 years, which of course includes you and your sister. By the way, I hope her date's going well. Oh, yeah, I forgot to check my phone. And here's our little go-getter, oh. Melanie. <laughs> cute Girl Scout, huh? Yeah. Oh, so cute. Uh. Yeah. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah, she is. Uh, well, no, help me text from Jules, so I guess her date's going pretty well. I think both of her daughters are having a successful night. Hey, Dad, how about some pickup? You bet. Damon? Oh, I'm in. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. This way. Yeah! yeah. and cookies when you're ready. Oh, hi. Mom, why did you invite Rob over when you know it's taco night? Well, he's always liked coming over in the past before, so I just thought, uh... You thought what? That maybe we'd get back together? Damon, Mel, nice to see you again. See you. You're hardly broken up. I mean, you still have his ring. And I was really surprised when you brought a date tonight. M Mom, Damon is not my date. And I'm giving the ring back to Rob, okay? So whatever it is you're doing, you need to stop. Because of Damon? I, he is lovely. I'm still searching. No, Mom, please, just stop, okay? Stop. Hey, how about a game of 21? Uh, you know what, Dad? I don't think Rob came over to play basketball. Right, Rob? I'll team up with you, Mel. Unless Damon thinks that would make the teams uneven. We got this. Right, Gordon? You bet. We'll take it out. Got you, Dad.
Oh. Oh. Ooh, nice shot. Okay, that's a tie. All right, good game. Oh, it's not over. First person to make a basket from the end of the driveway wins. I don't think we need to. Uh... Hey, if you can't do it, just say so. I can do it. Want to bet on it? <sighs> Fine. 20 or 50. 1987 Lakers championship ring. Bought at auction. Uh, Rob, what are you doing? You in or not? Right. Limited edition GMT chronograph. Awarded to me for landing six clients in a month. Hmm. <sighs> this is not good. Thanks for the game, Mr. Banning. Oh, and Mrs. Banning? I'll be by, let's say, mm, noon to finish off that landscaping. <laughs> Good one, Mom. Sorry. Well, let's go inside, honey. I'm sorry about all that. No, you have nothing to be sorry for. It's me. I never have been able to walk away from a bed. Even when I should. Yeah, well, my mom, she pushes sometimes, and I don't, I don't want any more pressure, you know? I just want it to feel right for me. And not just because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Wait, are you saying you haven't completely given up on everything? Good night, Damon. Good night, Melanie. Everybody samples. Bet's off. What? All of Angle didn't work? No, it's just she's already been engaged three times, and now I come along and start messing with any chance she might ever have of doing this again. I'm confused. I thought she wasn't ever gonna do this again. Yeah, well, I don't think she's totally given up. Because of you? I don't know. But I can't say I don't hope so. Whoa, are you telling me you actually want to marry this girl? I'm telling you, the bet's off. Really? Well, if it is, you're gonna be chewing on these instead of hanging out with the Juicy Crew, who, by the way, are live streaming their private jet party for their online promo. I'm good. Really, I don't mind losing. I'm not gonna ask her to marry me over a bet I never should have placed. Works for me. Damon. For your morning coffee. Okay, ladies, today we're going to learn some dance moves in preparation for your dance badges. Okay, everybody spread out, arms length apart. All right, let's start with the twist. Yeah. It's okay, I'll, I'll handle it. Okay. Good job, good job. Hey, Avery. Okay, now step left. Do you right. think you might want to dance with me? I'm. I'm not very good, but maybe you could show me a few moves. Okay. Okay? Come on. I like this. Good job. Roll it down. And up. Down low. You have got some seriously good moves. Ready to show these girls what you got? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, ladies, ladies, if I could just have your attention for one minute. Okay, girls, come in. Hit it.
That girl doesn't know how amazing she is. I know one's going to learn a thing or two. I thought that was you. How have you been? Uh, I've, I've been great. How about you? I'm gonna ask my girlfriend Diana to marry me. Hopefully she'll say yes and not run out of the church. I'm sure she won't. Uh, not, she won't run out of the church. Right. It was nice to see you, Mel. You too. Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> I just got off the phone with the coordinator of the KLP Morning Show. Remember I sent them the press kit Damon put together? They want us to be on their show. <laughs> Isn't that great? I told you hiring Damon was a good idea. Oh, it was a good idea, all right. Well, I'm glad you finally agree. So I was thinking we should do something to show our appreciation, like um, a free class or- A kiss. Excuse me? I kissed him, Jules. What? <laughs> when? At Scouts? Okay, first of all, I would have never guessed that. And secondly, why? Because I love him. Damon's the one. As in the one you wouldn't leave at the altar? Yeah, that's the one. That is great. No, it's not. It's not? No. I mean, I finally find the guy I could do happily ever after with, and he's not the marrying kind. Are you sure? Jules, I know his type. He says he's searching, but he's damaged goods, and he would bounce faster than I would. Did he kiss you back? Yeah, I think, I think so. See, then you won't know unless you ask him. You want me to ask him to marry me? <laughs> You're the one who's always been put on the spot. Maybe it's time to put the shoe on the other foot? So, she kissed you, and now she won't return your call. Sounds to me like you were right, and she's the one with the problem. I don't know, she's amazing in every other way. And that kiss was, was what? You know, that kind of kiss where the music just stops and... Are you watching rom-coms in your PJs eating ice cream? Of course not. Yeah, man. Uh, bring it. Who's that? Fiance number three. That's why you should bail before you become casualty number four. Come on, I'll buy you a taco. Great job, Heather. Maya, that is some seriously beautiful beadwork. You definitely deserve this. Avery, you have light in your feet and in your heart. Don't ever forget that. Hmm? Oh, I have it right here. Me? For you? What is this? The leadership badge you wanted. Thank you. Okay, it's time to say goodbye, so let's close our eyes and make a wish. Okay, have a great night, everyone, and again, good job today! Bye, girls. Bye. 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 Good work. Bye. 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 Bye, Avery. That was really nice of you. Well, you've been a really great volunteer, so. Mel, I was, uh, I was wondering about the other day. Right, of course. Again, I am so sorry about oh, that. No, it's. It's okay. You got a lot going on and you don't have to worry because I don't want to add to that confusion. I promise I'll leave you alone. Marry me. Excuse me? <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, especially after everything I said, but 
This is different. I know it is, and I wanted to be sure next time, so... <laughs> Will you marry me? Oh my gosh, I've seen that face before. It's mine. My face. So, I get it. And, and please don't, don't feel pressured into saying yes because there's no one around. Uh, so we could just walk away and pretend this never happened. No, wait, uh, wait. I'm just speechless because I can't believe you knew what my wish was. You. I wish for you. Does that mean? Yes. Yes. Yes, I will marry you. <laughs> I mean, are you sure? Because if, if you need more time, I will come. Yes. <laughs> you proposed. I did. Isn't it great? <laughs> hey, let's give cred for where it's due. It was my idea. Of course it was. Are you sure about this, Melanie? I mean, it, it just seems all really impulsive. That's the thing. I don't have to wait for him to grow on me because I know that I love him. And I promise you, I would not put you through this again if I wasn't sure. <sighs> well, uh, congratulations, Rue. So what do you think, Mom? Will you help me plan the wedding? Because I want everything to be absolutely perfect. Really? In the past, you haven't wanted to make a big deal. I know, but this is different. He's the one. He really is the one. You hear this, Gord? We're planning a wedding. <laughs> Does that mean we can stop planning the anniversary party? <laughs> <laughs> You're good, man. Woo. I don't believe it. Well, believe it, because it's happening. Wow. Talk about a slam dunk. Are you sure about this wedding, buddy? I mean, because you bailed on the bet, you don't have to go through with it. I'm sure. And this has nothing to do with the bet. I wanted to say yes. Yeah, but you still got to say I do. Trust me, it's pretty scary up there. I sweated right through my blazer. Yeah, well, it doesn't phase me. You know why? Because I love her. In, uh, you know, in that way. What way? In that, uh, I feel so lucky to have met her, and I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings kind of way. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, who would have thought, by you making a bet to get her to say yes, you'd end up being the one proposed to. But it doesn't change the fact that you bailed, right? Don't worry. I'm gonna make magic with that brand buddy's account. My man. <laughs> Juicy so does my account. <laughs> Still can't believe you got that in. Wow. How long have you been hiding your Choco Pops addiction? They're for Damon. He and his mom used to eat them for breakfast every morning, so I thought it'd be nice to add them to his grocery list. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with your dresses? You're not going to wear one of those, are you? No, of course not. I'm going to find the perfect dress this time. And these I'm going to give to charity. Except, I don't know, maybe I'll keep this. Have you told Rob? I'm gonna stop over and see him on my way to Damon. Rob. No. I was just on my way to see you. Is that the one you plan on wearing when you marry Damon? What? No, of course not. I'm, I'm sorry, how did you? I heard Mel. Rob, I'm so sorry. I was just about to go tell you. It was a bet, Mel. What? He bet on you. Instead of this watch, the wager was some account at work. You say yes to his proposal and he wins. Rob, if this is your way of trying to get me back and break it off with Damon, then you're not doing it. I know you asked him, Mel. Because at the basketball court, they were all talking about what a slam dunk your proposal was. Okay, it's time for you to go now, Rob. He rolled the dice on you, Mel, and he won. Mel. Mel! Hey, does the dress shop know you left with that on? Ooh, were you thinking big wedding or small? Because my mom's already calling relatives. 
That depends. What did you bet on? Or did the wedding not even matter and it was just about getting me to say yes? I don't know what you're talking about. I know about the bet, Damon. Mel, it wasn't like that. Oh, I know. Because I'm the one that proposed to you. So what, did that just raise the stakes or something? No, I called it off. I called the bet off before you asked. No, I was falling in love with you. I didn't want it to be about a bet. What's the first law in Scout's statement? The Scout is trustworthy. This is going to be quite a party. Yes, it is. You know, I joke, but I'd have a party for a hundred people if it'd make your mother happy. Because when I saw her work in that grill at the street fair, I knew she had to be my wife. The only problem was, so did my buddy, Frank Henderson. Yeah, he was something. Handsome, a doctor. So I asked him, I said, Frank, give me a chance. He said, sure, go for it. <sighs> but if you lose, it's anyone's game. So needless to say, I spent the next month trying to outdo Frank for your mother's attention. Did mom know? Yeah, I'm not sure. But the point is, the circumstances in which you meet someone or fall in love, it really doesn't change how you feel about them. Because when you know it's right, it's right. And when it's not, we move on. Thanks, Dad. I love you. I love you, too. Are you sure about this? Because there's no going back. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, Rob. Be. Look, Mel, I didn't enjoy having to tell you. I just figured you should know. Whether it meant you came back to me or not. Have you? No, Rob, I haven't. You deserve somebody who's gonna love you back just as much as you love them. the bet it's really not that unbelievable to think Damon fell in love with you what do we think about when we think about home warmth family comfort that's what brand buddies are they are home Grown goodness. That's your brand. A homegrown company made with homegrown love. Out of everyone on my team, I knew it would be you to brand those tasteless pieces of cardboard. And to show my appreciation, I am putting you on the juicy team. But before you say thank you, I hear they're having a sponsored luau, and you know what that means. Hula girls, Damon. Great. Thanks. Don't mention it. How about you and I go grab a taco, shoot some hoop? You know, I think I'm just gonna head home. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, 
Here, let me help you with that. Damon, ah, thank you. It's a lot of cookies. Yeah, shopping for the anniversary party. Right. 30 years. Mm -hmm. How's Melanie? Miserable. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Banning. I should never have placed that bet. You know, once I got to know Mel, I was... I was embarrassed. It was selfish. Maybe. Let me ask you this. Without placing it, would you have met Melanie? No, probably not. Then it was meant to be. That night you came over, I know Melanie insisted it was not a date, but I know my daughter. Mel loves you. So bet or no bet, I can see that you love her. I do. I do love her. There's no way I could convince her of that now. Of course there is. Do the one thing she doubts the most. Marry her. Arriving? I am getting excited. Me too. <laughs> wow, everything looks perfect. I think we're ready. Oh, I gotta go. My uh, date is here. Oh, he must really like you to come to a family event like this. You think so? Jules, all weddings freak men out, even wedding anniversaries, so yeah, he likes you. Oh, yes. <gasps> Mom, you look amazing. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. Let's get this show started. Let's do it. Do you, Gordon Banning, give to Anna a new promise to continue loving her with the same heart that's loved her for 30 years from now to eternity? I do. Do you, Anna Banning, give to Gordon a new promise to continue loving him from the heart that has loved him for 30 years from now to eternity? I do. Well, then one more time. Let's seal it with a kiss. Here, Mom. You get to throw it again. Actually, sweetheart, you might want to hold on to that. You invited him? Mel, Mel, just give me a chance. A chance to what? Explain how you used me? No, not here. Not at my parents' wedding anniversary. Well, then how about it our way? What? I know making that bet was a lousy thing to do, but if I hadn't, I never would have met you. So if you asked me if I'd do it again, yeah. Yeah, I would. Because before I met you, I never could have seen myself walking down that aisle. You made me believe in happily ever after. I love you, Mel. I just... I hope you still feel the same way. Melanie Banning. Will you marry me? Well, I figured what's a wedding without flower girls? <laughs> hey, honestly, it's not my intention to make you feel any pressure. So if the answer is no, I understand. I just wanted to show you how committed I am to you. And that I would be honored to marry you right here, right now. I get it. You're not feeling it. Um... Yes. I'm sorry. Did you say? Yes. <laughs> yes? I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> you got the smell? Yeah. In the spirit of Gordon and Anna's anniversary, do you, Damon Hadley, give to Melanie a promise for with all of your heart from now to eternity? I do. And do you, Melanie Banning, give to Damon a promise to love him with all of your heart from now to eternity? I do. <laughs> I pronounce you husband and wife. Give me a kiss to bride. <laughs> At first. I'm sure. I am. Scout's honor. I love you, Melanie. I love you, Damon. Hit it! What? May I have this dance? What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>